Hey everyone, Kubo here and welcome back to my Chrono Cross playthrough. Today we are going to do some side content. Some very important side content that will make the game a lot easier. With Kash in our party, it is now a good idea to head to the Isle of the Damned in another world. It's exactly where you left Isle of the Damned in the home world, but there are some different treasures that we can pick up. So what do I want to do? I want to prep my party for a certain boss fight. So what is happening is that I want to remove all the accessories from uh, Lynx, Harley and Kash. And to do that, I select equip. Uh, with the party leader highlighted, I then go to the left. I choose whoever I want to unequip all accessories from. Press X. So I do that for Lynx. I also do that for Harley and I do that for Sp brig as well excellent and then there is some more accessory equipping for Kash, i want to give him both of the dragoon gauntlets and the uh, dragoon's honor as well or one of them and then for lynx fairly easy i want to give him the where is it the dreamer's bandana there it is should be nice and easy. Okay, with that in mind, we are now prepared to enter the Isle of the Damned. If you blew up all the locations in the Isle of the Damned home world, in another world, they will also be open. So first things first, I want to go into this cave here and pick up the mixed bones. Another um, body part for Skelly. Good stuff. We're halfway there. Three down, three to go. From there, I then... Oh, hang on. I should have actually gotten this second one first, but it's all good. There is also something in here. We're going to pick up the eyeball material, which we're not really... We don't really use eyeballs, to be honest. It is what it is. Okay, now I want to go back up here. And we're going to head all the way left. There are only two enemies in the Isle of the Damned, apart from the encounter we're about to come into here. The airframes still have 450 HP, are still black and eight, and the deadheads, similar to the boss that we fought on the SS Invincible, 1,200 HP, and they are black in eight. Anyway, with that done, same as in the other Isle of the Damned, we need to use the Garai Keepsake to go through here. Something to bear in mind is that there is one other item we can pick up. We're going to go all the way around and head down here. Before you go through this door as well, make sure that Kash is in your party. This fight only triggers if Kash is in there. And we're going to also pick up the Revenge there. Okay. Our entire strategy revolves around Kash as well. And you're about to find out why. Here's Salt and Pepper, who, if you remember correctly, were under Kash's command at the very beginning of the game. But they seem to be a bit more serious this time. Oh, Kash is being ignorant about something. Something happened here a long time ago. And Salt and Pepper are not convinced that Kash is innocent about something. He may have killed the Dario of another world. Well, Salt and Pepper are literally judge, jury, and executioner. By the sounds of things. But before we can get into this fight, we must have a flashback. All good JRPGs have a flashback. There's uh, Kash and Dario with Glenn there in the back left. Oh, and who's this? Oh, it's Riddell. Dario gets a portrait. Glenn gets a younger portrait as well. <laughs> as they talk about Viper Juros and the fact that Glenn could literally eat for Termina, but that's not the point. 
The Shiro's were for iron rations for night, so for eating is not good discipline. True. I wonder if it's the, uh, yeah, these are the bellflowers found in Fossil Valley. We found one earlier. And we haven't actually used it yet. And we will use them later, don't worry. I have deliberately held on to it for now. So, Riddell went to the rather dangerous Fossil Valley all by herself, and everyone seems <laughs> super happy with that. Yeah, definitely not worried at all. Anyway, Glenn gets a bellflower. And seems to be convinced that bellflower seeds can bear fruit. Kash also gets a younger version of himself portrait. Riddell does not, and I've never understood why, considering Riddell is very much a playable character. Spoiler alert, <laughs> I guess. It's, something, it's always something that sort of ticked me off, I think. Yeah, as Riddell says, it's a bellflower. We already know what it is. And Dario's like, I will go for you next time, princess. And then they can go on a date. And then... Kash, obviously zoning out. And Dario... <laughs> Struggling to tell Kash that uh, Riddell and Dario are engaged. Hooray! Good for them. No date, no location. Got to go to the Isle of the Damned first. And the wedding will be in their childhood play spot. Um, for those of you, let, I, there's also another piece of, another significant thing about this place. Um, this is outside the smithy where um, Kash's parents work. So, big deal. So yeah, that's why they're asking Kash if they can get married here. And Kash is super happy about that. Look how happy he is. Definitely not jealous in any way, shape or form. Definitely did not have feelings for Riddell. Anyway, Kash, Dario, Salt and Pepper need to investigate the Isle of the Damned, which similar to uh, another, um, the homeworld, sorry, is home to the Masamune. Actually, no, that's that's just straight up not true. The Masamune was in um in the other oh, damned it was the Einlander. The Masamune was somewhere somewhere else. That was a complete lie that I just told. But we came here to dispel the evil of the Masamune through the Einlander. So yeah, that was the Masamune. I went through that far too quickly. I do apologize. Um, the Masamune was there. Kash did get possessed by it. Uh, envious of the relationship Riddell and Dario had. Very similar, by the way, to, to the dynamic Radius and Garai had. So it doesn't embed hatred, it just draws it out, like, again. Very Star Wars-y. And uh, Kash admitting what he's done, and Glenn overhearing 
every single word. Not awkward in any way, shape or form. Don't worry. Okay, so. Something did happen. And Salt and Pepper really want to execute Karch for this crime. And so we are in a rather surprising boss fight. Um, we are fighting Salt and Pepper for the umpteenth time. Salt, the tall lanky one, 900 HP, 8 action points in a yellow. Pepper, the short fat one, 1000 HP, 10 action points and in a yellow as well. In order to beat this boss, we need to poke first of all with Lynx. And this is a very early turn one from from Pepper, uh, from Salt, sorry. Really early turn one. Um, that's actually slightly unfortunate, but we'll do our best. So yeah, we want to do a weak attack into a strengthen there. And then with Harley, we're also going to do a weak attack into an Eagle Eye. And this will get us off to a strong start. Now, the reason why the Dreamer's Bandana is equipped... Wow, Pepper... Salt and Pepper got off to a really fast start. But the reason why we equipped the Dream Dreamer's Bandana is because we do actually want to get another turn off with um, Lynx. And we actually want to Aero Blaster Pepper because he's the one with more HP. Excellent. Now that we are in a good spot here, um, we can go after Salt again and we're going to go for a 3-3. 606 damage there. Because Salt and Pepper got off to quite a fast start, we're not quite going to be able to get the full green field effect. But nonetheless, we're going to use Kasha's level 5 ability, Axial Axe. And that kills everyone. Back to Harley now, who um, we just need to get to level 5. This is going really well, actually. Uh, we now want to hit Pepper with an Aero Blaster. And yeah, that's that. If you're really unfortunate and Kash gets killed, revive him with... Harley with Revive plus one, but yeah, nice and easy. Not a growth level, by the way. We do want to heal up um, with any elements, but we don't get any, that's okay. Spoils found. Um, so we got the common drops here, which is Denodorite. Make sure you check if you get Stone Vest or Stone Mail. It's important for something we're gonna do later. And on top of that, we're also going to get Kasha's level 7 ability, Axiomatic. It's quite good. And Kasha insists that he didn't kill Dario. And one day we will find out the truth. Not an evil person, would never kill your best friend. Would never beat the crap out of uh, his subordinates. And technically, yeah. Like, Salt and Pepper were Dragoon outcasts, and in this world, in another world, Karsh was alive to take them in. But in the home world, Karsh wasn't there, and Salt and Pepper got amnesia, and as a result, were taken in by Steph instead. Like, Karsh is a, Karsh is a pretty big deal. And yeah, Salt and Pepper stole something. Very important, the Memento Pendant. We need this item. This is a very important item. It unlocks one of the best weapons in the game, as well as the hardest boss fight, pound for pound, in the game. And one day we will find out the truth. Okay, with that in mind, I will meet you back outside on the world map. Okay, we are back on another world. Get back on the ship. And this time, we are going to make our way to the Hermit's Hideaway. 
and we're going to head into the burnt out hermit's hideout. God, try saying that fast 10 times. The ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. So, fun fact. If you come to this patch of grass and you use... Where is it? The ice breath? The ground has cooled down. Vegetation could grow here again. Something will happen later on. Just bear that in mind. So, we're going to head down here. And indeed, Radius is here. And, ra yeah. Radius, he, he's not Lynx. Promise. Yeah, actually, actually, Surge. Yeah, so a reminder, the radius in the home world knows full well that this is Surge, but this is the radius in another world. Keeping track between the two can be very tough. Anyway, with that done, we want to speak to Riddell. And uh, yeah, now everyone will start referring to Lynx as Surge again. As uh, Sarge, sorry. Lynx, Sarge, Surge, same thing. So, yeah, Riddell will offer to join us. Very important character. Riddell joined the party. No, we're not. We're going to keep the default name. You seem very tired. I recommend that you rest first. And we do want to rest. Make sure, before you do this, make sure that in the previous episode, I told you to make a new save file at this, at this spot. Um, or just before you go to the Isle of the Damned. If you haven't done it yet, do it now. This is the point of no return for that save file. Okay. We will come back to that save file when we start doing our New Game Plus stuff. Well, General Viper's recovered. From being stabbed in the back, literally. Well, something or someone is coming after us. I also recognize that voice. Looks like Kid is here. Uh, looks like today's day I finish you off. This is not the kid you know. Oh, she is indeed kid. Well, this is uh, very interesting. Once our roles were reversed, so were our problems. Sounds actually kind of like kid's been brainwashed. I mean, surely the uniform gives it away. I think we better retreat for now. I think that's wise. I mean, come on, Sar this version of Sarge literally has a skull on his cap. That makes him the baddie. Here comes Fargo with uh, Polly. Let's go. And we got away. Very, very unfortunate for Dark Sarge. Only the beginning of everything. That sounds weirdly ominous, has to be said. Yeah, great work, Polly. And everyone else is also safely aboard. Remember, we did free Fargo from prison. So consider this um, 
The favour returned. And suddenly we get flashbacks again. As our memories of Kid come back to us. And there's the memory where she gets stabbed in the stomach. Bad times, man, bad times. And if you've watched the beginning uh, FMV of Chrono Cross, this will be a very familiar scene to you. Oh, here's, here's Harley. What's the most important thing in your life? Yeah, very deep question. Very deep question. Okay, so with that done, we need to talk to Fargo again. Yep, and <laughs> Fargo and Viper will be down here. And Viper doesn't really seem too keen to uh, duel Fargo right now. Legs is headed to the Sea of Eden, which in the homeworld, remember, was the Dead Sea. And we need to prevent him from obtaining the frozen flame. We must stop him. And General Viper will join our party as well. Hooray! As will Fargo. Seeing as he now understands the situation, and it's more about just him we can also get him in our party. Very, very good character, Fargo. Viper, eh, not so much, but Fargo is the real deal. And one day, they will do their manly man duel thing. On top of that, you will also recruit Marcy... And Zoa. And Zoa still talks in all caps. Yeah, so if you picked Zoa previously, this is where Karsh joins you. Yes, we did put Karsh in our party so that um, we could go to the Isle of the Damned early. That is exactly what happened, in case you're wondering. So we need to be on our way. We are going to take out Harley. And we are going to put in one of two people. We either put in Marcy or we put in Irene's. We simply are looking at their magic stat. Marcy has 19, Irene's is 23, so we put Irene's in. And then for Kash, we're going to put in Riddell. Simple as that. Nice and easy. So, from here, you are forced to go to the death store here in another world. We're going to head forward and uh, Harley will be here already. And she will tell us how to get through here. And this place is called the Pearly Gates. The only entrance into the Sea of Eden. 
However, can't come through her anymore. Dragons have sealed the evil flame. So how do we get in? We need to collect the dragon balls. I mean, collect the dragon relics. And we need to pick up six of them to be exact. But this is not the true gate to the Sea of Eden. In fact, the true gate to the Sea of Eden is back in the home world. Try and keep up. But the six dragons are both in the home world and this world, another world. And I will be your guide to collect all six of the dragon relics. Don't worry about it. Sarge is already in here. Dark Sarge is already in here. And the whatever's going on, it appears that Sarge can basically have free access into the Sea of Eden. You must be in here as Sarge. So we need the Dragon Tear as well. And now it's time for Harley to ask us a question. Very important question. If you had to choose between Zivild or Moi, which would you choose? You could either choose Harley, the world, or I don't know. We want to pick the last option. This is why we are creating a new file or a new save file because we will pick other options later on. But for this run, we're picking I don't know. So, time to go and find ourselves, literally, because we have to turn back into Sarge somehow. What does she mean by that? Yeah, you are such an idiot. And Harley disappears. No, really, she disappears. So, with that out the way, it's time to collect the six Dragon Balls. I mean, Dragon Relics. But I'm going to start doing that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to leave a like on the video. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye.